Brussels Brexit point man has warned Boris Johnson that he and the UK government alone would have to shoulder all the blame for the aftermath of a no-deal Brexit. Michelle Barnier rejected the UK's latest offer of a deal which sets out a complex plan for the Northern Ireland border, saying the EU needed it to change. The European Commission's top Brexit negotiator, who has proved adept at frustrating efforts to seek a compromise deal, said a deal was still doable. But speaking at an event organized by the Le Monde newspaper last night he said, we are ready for no deal, even if we don't desire it, he said. No deal will never be the choice of the EU.If it happens, it would be Britain's choice. Mr. Barnier added, if they do not change, I do not believe, on the basis of the mandate I have been given by the EU27, that we can advance. It came as the PM warned of plans to sabotage the European Union by vetoing the bloc's seven-year budget if a deal is not reached by October 31. Britain will leave the EU in 25 days without a deal unless senior figures agree to compromise. In the case of a delay Mr Johnson will paralyze the EU, senior aides revealed. If Brexit is pushed back after October 31 the leader of the Brexit party, Nigel Farage, could be drafted in as the British commissioner in Brussels to disrupt meetings, reports claim. On Saturday Mr Johnson started phoning his EU counterparts to sell his proposals for a managed withdrawal from the bloc after the latest plans were given short shrift by Brussels. European diplomats say London needs to offer a revised viable way forward before the end of next week so that any haggling and legalistic work is done before a crucial EU summit on October 17-18. That high-stakes European Council meeting will determine whether Britain is headed for an agreement, extension, or potentially disastrous no deal. Finnish Prime Minister Antti Ren whose country currently holds the European Union's rotating presidency said he had told Johnson it was important to find a solution within a week and the British leader agreed with the timetable. Dutch Premier Mark Rutte tweeted he had told Johnson important questions remain about the British proposals and there is a lot of work to be done ahead of the summit. Johnson was expected to also call the leaders of other EU countries after talks broke up without progress Friday between a top UK Brexit official, David Frost, and Mr Barnier. The UK had been keen for discussions to continue through the weekend, but they were set to restart on Monday. Latvian Prime Minister Christian Karen said today that Mr Johnson's Brexit offer is a basis for negotiations. I have full trust in the Commission as our negotiator to try to find a good compromise with the UK," he told BBC One's The Andrew Marr Show. If Mr Johnson is willing to negotiate that's a very good sign, and certainly from Europe's side we are always looking for a deal, that works for everyone.
Mr. Cairns said striking a deal was fully dependent on the will of Mr. Johnson because from the European side we are always open and looking towards a deal. If a deal can be found that keeps the single market intact and is not bad for the Republic of Ireland I think it would work for the rest of the EU as well. Mr. Cairns added that the EU doesn't have a whole lot of wriggle room in negotiating a new deal but said some tweaks were possible. To open up the entire agreement I think that is very unrealistic, certainly in the short time frame. He said the PM probably could get an extension if it was to help hammer out a deal which is good for everyone. But just extending, for the sake of extension I think there would be quite a bit of debate within the EU.